the Exchange magazine, between the trading floor and the final score. This month's celebrity trader with £5,000 of our money is... Heston Blumenthal. Do you think you would be more interested in trading uh, commodities, wine and food products? Probably if I was going to trade anything, I would trade, I'd trade wine. Yeah. The biggest problem with me in wine trading, I mean, I've, I've had some like inc- some fantastic wine purchases. I mean, one bought a case of half a dozen Burgundy, uh, particular Burgundy for a particular producer. This is like two years ago. Yeah. I mean, in three months, uh, it was half a dozen bottles. It was very expensive, but in three months, it had gone up six times yeah. in price. Why can do uh, that? <clears throat> so, but the idea f- for me, I think I, I'd, I'd only I trade in wine with a view to ultimately with a view to building myself a wine cellar that I'm going to drink all of it before yeah. I die. Well, that's, that's <laughs> the thing, yeah. And if I got into financial <laughs> trouble, yeah. I could flog it and I'd be okay. Yeah, that that's the sort of thing. And and and, and, and I, I kind of like the idea that you look for certain certain wines where you know they're going to trade really well. You buy them, you sell half that stock. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> and you keep basically you keep that and then the money goes to buy something else yeah. so so if you've traded well enough you end up with half of what you bought being, yeah, being, being laid down the rest free, yeah. rolls over for investment um, and also the wine you just need to you need to unfortunately you know you're buying one or two bottles yeah. one cases are worth more money but also if you're really interested in drinking them it, you know, one of the enjoyments is plotting the evolution of the wine so that you might have half a dozen bottles it's probably the minimum you should buy but you drink the first and then two years later the second and two years later the third and then kind of by the time like eight or nine years later you've had the fourth bottle and it's just getting good yeah and yeah, yeah. you've got two left <laughs> yeah <laughs> so, so you know that's a so I'd, I'd say that my my emotional attachment will probably slightly get in the way of yeah you know the the, the, the drive to make us generate as much well, that's the thing you've got to differentiate between trading for enjoyment and trading to make money. Exactly. It's quite difficult to, to different. If you are a wine lover, it's quite difficult to different. It is between because, the, the because generally the wines that really do, the wines that really do um, make the money and fairly secure as an investment are all yeah. kind of well, top head yeah. and there's great stuff. Thanks, Thanks very much. Great to meet you. Yeah, you too. Thank, Thank you. you very much. The Exchange Magazine, between the trading floor and the final score.